This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And this is a little bit of a pre record. We are not live this week. I am somewhere in San Diego. Hopefully, I don't know, hugging a panda bear at the San Diego Zoo. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. Well, but you follow my social media at Sorgatron and you'll probably find out what that what is happening there. But we have with us, we're going to be talking about what we're playing. I figure this will be good to kind of deep dive on what are we getting, what, what, what are we getting our hands on? What are we playing? What did we just beat? I just beat a game recently. Uh, <laughs> just like two nights ago as we're, as we're recording this. We are recording this Wednesday night on the... 21st uh so if there's any big news and you're like why the hell did you not bring it up uh this would be why uh so we have with us first of all from studio d in the studio c in the big d of dormont pa he is the big bank international esquire gadget guru he is john chachilla studio alphabet soup that's right how you doing sir <laughs> Pretty good. How are you? Fantastic. Excited. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing some games with you. I don't know if I'm going to do some gaming on the road. If the internet's good enough, I'll get some some of my Xbox streaming in. Because uh, some, some exciting stuff just dropped this week that I'm not going to get a chance to play before I head out. But um, Also with us, another gadget guru from some big bank of some sort. The Crazy Krause is with us. Ron Krause. Hey, this is two weeks in a row. Two weeks so, in well, a row. Technically, Look at it's you. two days in a row, but we won't count that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, timeliness. Ooh, time, <laughs> time shifting. We're like DVRing ourselves. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, so let's get into it. What are we playing these days? I, I, actually, let me go first because I'm really excited about this. Wait, when I was talking about Death Loop, that just came out, and I want to get some hands on it. I play. I I have no. I guess was it play, a PlayStation exclusive or something until recently, maybe. Um, but it, it just dropped on Game Pass. I saw the trailer for it, and I was pretty excited about it. So I'm looking forward to that one. Did you guys have you guys been looking out for that one? I'm actually just looking at a video of it right now. It's got a lot of those like, kind of vibe. It's got a little bit of that Team Fortress vibe to it. It seems fun. You know, it's a little bit different. You know, um, it was just I just love these quirky shooters that that kind of come out. Right. Yeah, that's great. I, I, I love that idea. So um, but the biggest one I just beat, I just beat the Guardians of the Galaxy game. And uh, it was it's been on Game Pass. They had the Avengers game before that. And I've been really enjoying, I, I really enjoyed it, except, you know, you could kind of tell, like, the Avengers game was like, there's there's good story on top of a sort of flawed fighting system. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, guys, was so, like, story. It was like a long-ass Guardians of the Galaxy serialized movie, right? Um, and, 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 and I, and I really enjoyed it and it was, uh, it was heart wrenching. It was a lot of development. If you love the movies, like I, there's a little bit differences, uh, in characters, it's not the same voices, likenesses, anything like that. A little broader, broader scope here. Um, but, and there's nobody in there that you've probably heard of if you're just kind of lightly, you know, like you're in the Marvel universe, you know, um, there's a lot of characters that are just kind of like, you know, plucked from that galaxy stuff, but man, it was so good. Uh, like I said, there, there was just like, they, they dealt with everybody's tragedy in the team for the most part. Um, and it's a lot of the fighting is great. Um, you, you actually kind of command the rest of them to, uh, like you, you, you know, hit a button target and you can send like Gamora to go slice somebody up or rocket to pull out this absurdly giant gun and just blast away at something. Right. Um, it, and, and then you get a certain point where, uh, you get to do a huddle, you pick the right response to what they're saying and you get like powered up and you play some eighties track, the soundtrack in this guys, the first time I got Rick rolled during a boss battle, <laughs> Rick <laughs> it was fantastic. Oh, awesome. yes, it is. It's like that or tainted love will pop up or, um, you know, it's just like the most absurd stuff as you're blasting aliens. 
right? Um, it's it, it's it's recommended. I think it's a little cheaper now. It's on Game Pass. Um, I think somebody told me it was part of their uh, PlayStation sh- or P- PlayStation Plus or something as well. I think Chachi was telling me, and I'm like, play it. Like, take some time on it. Or maybe it was Mike or somebody, Man Mike or somebody. I was like, take some time on this. And if you you were iffy about Avengers, they did the complete opposite thing than Avengers, and it was like story first, and kind of gaming went on top of it. <laughs> so well, that, that, that's a good thing because. So you did you play Avengers? Yes, I, I played. I, I've played it and all of the expansion packs. Okay, because I is there more of a linear storyline to Guardians? Because I feel There's like nothing, in Avengers, I was constantly returning to the ship and then yes. going to figure out something yes. else, and it was no. like this is getting old. This, yeah, no, that was. I mean, you could tell Avengers was a multiplayer game. They strapped a story on, right? Mm-hmm. Um, this is exclusively like it's a highly, highly linear experience the only difference is uh th- during the thing and the banter during the fights is great and doesn't terribly get, get repetition so until you get into that like 15th hour of the game um but uh but but like when you're responding to people's comments apparently that does it, it's one of those where it's like you know responses and creating trust with certain characters is what does different stuff later in the game like there's a point where you like one of the schemes is to sell one of one of the members to um to to somebody to get their favor and you're like do you sell Groot or do you sell Rocket you know and, and you're going to go rescue them right and that that has a that has a um think of you know the Telltale games like the Batman Telltale g- games how you would like make choices and and people would remember like you know uh, Alfred is really concerned about how you're acting kind of thing. Like it, it was, it's a light version of something like that. But apparently if you did the right thing, like from, cause it'll pop up something in the corner is so-and-so character remembered how nice you were for them. And they came back to rescue you, you know? Oh, neat. And so okay. I'm really curious to go back, like, like go to YouTube's and see what the alternate lines were or something for something like that. I'm not playing through it again you know that whole thing you know but there is a little bit of you are molding it not a big moral play like a lot of these games will do but just a you know did you make a snide remark to gamora or did you uh support her when she was definitely not having a good time with things you know because again just everybody's strategy kind of gets hit on this thing pretty hard Knights of the Knights of the Old Republic, if you ever played the Star Wars game, was kind of like that. Sure, I've never played that one, but it, it sounds like that kind of thing. But that was even more like this is less. This isn't quite so RP. This is light RPG, you know. It's yeah, not, but I mean, just the 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 way you yeah. interacted with with the NPCs impacted the storyline and what would happen down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this game, um, and I recommend it to anybody. Like I, I can't remember the last time I've been this excited about a game like this since like like Assassin's Creed syndicate <laughs> you know um no it's fantastic and definitely worthwhile fantastic on the series s so glad i updated because the biggest problem was there would be a quick time action and i couldn't get it and then i had to wait like two minutes for it to reload and then mess it up again and then when i was on my original xbox one so i recommend being on a newer console than than me <laughs> so uh so that's what i've been playing mostly other than that i've been playing the ninja turtles games like i picked up cowabunga collection i'm loving it got a safe you know I'm, I'm safe placing along with the only only sad part is i hate that you can't if you buy a game you can't get the mobile because now i'm hitting the road for like a week and a half and i really want to play ninja turtles <laughs> you know um I, you can do remote play to your xbox but that's always been a little ske- sketchy for me um i might give it a try i don't know but um, you know, on the phone and whatever. Why don't you just take your Xbox with you? Listen, I just packed like half a studio in my luggage. Okay, uh, <laughs> you know, to, to, to pull off what? You got I, the little S. It's tiny. It's teeny tiny. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Like, well, what am I going to put it? I could, like my backpack. You know, I'm not. Why not? Because uh, I already have a live view, uh, a second camera, uh, a Zoom recorder. <laughs> And my laptop and my iPad. <laughs> so I need what I need is a couple Pelican cases for one thing. Um, I have determined that because I realized I have two suitcases that have a mixture of my clothes and my um, the technical stuff. Like anything that doesn't have a battery is in my bag. 
Okay. Um, okay. Like basically, there's anything that hasn't have a screen or a battery is in my bags, in my luggage, and then the rest is in my Pelican case with the big camera or in my backpack. But that's not what this show's about. Let's get back to the gaming. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so what else? Uh, so, uh, the, uh, Chella, what have you been playing lately? So we obviously play a lot of Fortnite. <clears throat> I thought you were going to say Roblox. No, we do play a lot of Roblox, but mm-hmm. actually, it's it's moved. It's it's. I would say what used to be all Roblox all the time is now like a seventy five percent Fortnite, twenty five percent Roblox, but. Uh, Fortnite on Sunday morning, sometime after 2 a.m. because the update came out, they went down for maintenance at 2 a.m. on Sunday. Um, they have come out with their next season, which is all about Chrome. Mm-hmm. Um, so Chrome has invaded the the, the Fortnite world. Um, there's a pretty good cutscene at the beginning, and then it's given you all kinds of additional things that you can do. Um, there's Chrome splashes. You can turn yourself into kind of a metal ball uh, blob that lets you move faster, not take fall damage, um, not you, you're you're not hurt by fire. Um, <clears throat> but then they've brought back some some weapons from from prior seasons, like the Hunter Bolt Action Sniper, mm-hmm. um, which is one of my favorites. Um, the the other thing they've done is. Um, as you level up and move through, you can actually unlock Spider Gwen. So she's going yeah. to be in this season. We saw in that they little bit of play that we were uh, showing on the screen uh, a couple moments ago. There's the cr- the Chrome starts to take over. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've been having a lot of fun with with this season. Obviously, it's only a few days in. Um, the Chrome the Chrome aspect of it's pretty cool. Um, definitely adds a different different feeling to the game. Mm -hmm. Um, there's also keys that you can find and unlock, um, secret areas. Um, unlike the port of forts, there's now port of bunkers, um, in this season. So that's pretty cool, um, from an ability to, to kind of hide and camp out. Um, I am a, a no builds type person. So I, and I think Krauss, you're under the same. (laughs) Yep. Um, so the builds is the only way to play that game. Um, Well, as in you're not building structures. Yes. Correct. Okay. You're you're just you're just playing a running gun on this game, then, right? You're, well, there's there's structures in the game, but you can't build your own. Okay. Wait, is that a role, um, or is that just what you're playing as? There's, so there's a game. The game there's mode. a game type. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's I, I loaded up Fortnite for the first time in a while. Holy crap! Game types that are in there yeah. right now. You know, <laughs> I'm just like this is this is more than I I really was up for. So. I was surprised they they also put some anti cheat stuff in there restricting and I I'm not I've never even looked into this to be quite honest with you but if you are using hardware mm-hmm. that provides a competitive advantage you will receive an in game warning and if you continue playing you have to remove the hardware and restart Fortnite to keep playing okay um and if you try to bypass this you will be you will receive a permanent ban oh no um for cheating. But um, no, I, I like I said, a lot of fun with this season. We we play primarily on Xbox, occasionally on Switch, and I think I want to try loading this on a PC just to see what the game plays mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. Um, it's always been good across the board. Uh, of course, I mean I'm I, I do miss the having it on the iPhone aspect a little bit. I know mm-hmm. you do have the streaming version, but just having it on the phone makes a lot of difference. You know, so, but, uh, you know, and so, you know, streaming is still kind of give and take, isn't it? So, um, I actually, I was playing, I was, I was amazed. Uh, I was playing some, uh, I, I go in there. Do you, on Game Pass, do you go, like, go hit the, like, like, go play this game or make 10 kills in this game or something like that to get some points? I do. I do from time to time do that to yeah. get some points. And it's kind of nice that you can hop in the cloud version and do it. So I was playing mm-hmm. like Wolfenstein New Order, I think. Um, and, uh, and it played very well. And, and you, I like for, I played, yeah, I played for a while before I started getting like every once in a while, we, like have a full screen, like, you know, the, the colors kind of wash for a moment kind of thing. Uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's definitely like the compression or something like that. But like, I, I was like, I kept forgetting I was streaming this game, uh, on my series one, uh, S. Um, so, and it definitely, oh, it handles it so much better on the, on the series S than it does on my original Xbox. It was so sketchy um so so that's pretty good and of course you know if you got okay 5g 
you're you're pretty good on the phone too. So I'm just sometimes I you know even as big as my phone is, I sometimes it's a little smaller you know with some of the details. So anyway, I completely agree. I, I try so hard. I want the phone to work, mm-hmm. but and it's probably because I'm getting older. But it, it's just. <laughs> It's just I'm I'm I feel like I'm uh, still like yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of that. I think I need the I'm using the Xbox controller. Oh, I need to make sure I pack make sure I pack one. Um I'm using the Xbox controller. Um but uh now I'm really concerned that I'm going to forget to pack one. Uh so <laughs> I want to mute myself and uh, and remind myself in a second. But I'm surprised you don't take an iPad with you and use the iPad with the controller. So I have an iPad um but it's the older but the, the problem is, you know, the best you know, hotel Wi-Fi is not going to work. Okay, five uh, G is where it's going to work when I have enough five G. And I don't always, you know, like oh, this is great. Everything service is fantastic all over the place until I get to my hotel. <laughs> you know, so that that's kind of the issue. Even I'm concerned because I have a lot of work I need to get done while I'm on the road, and I have about like a, I don't know. They send me like three seven hour videos. And I'm like, hey, just kind of clip these up, and I'm like, no problem. And I'm like. I don't know how I'm getting this to you. <laughs> so we'll figure that out. But anyways, but but, but I digress. Um, but no, I, I so like if my iPad had 5G, I'd be great. I mean, I would love this. Uh, I, I loved having this iPad Pro in my home or here or in the home um, on, on the, you know, good Wi-Fi. And it plays well, very, very well. But uh, but. You know, that just doesn't bridge over. And I'm bringing a smaller iPad. I'm just not traveling with the big screen anymore since I got this, you know, the new uh, MacBook and stuff. So uh, we've definitely kind of kind of moved it down. But uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, anyways, um, anything else around uh, Fortnite or anything else you're playing? That, that's that's primarily it. Occasionally, um, Lego Star Wars and then whatever, whatever is up on. Roblox that the kiddos playing, mm-hmm. um, that, that it, because Roblox is one of those things where there's 52 million games out there. <laughs> it's pretty much just a different game every day. Yeah, exactly. But it's, and it's kind of nice, right? It, that's really kind of mm-hmm. nice. So is it nice though? I, I don't know. I, I feel like so. Like there's there's a couple things. Like if the game doesn't save, not playing it. If it's the same repetitive thing over and over again, not playing it. I'll tell you what, you know what I have been playing? Um, mech. There's a mech game. What was the, Kraus, what was the game? T3 mech. Arena. Okay. So yeah. T3 Arena, it's a mech game. By the same people? I don't think it's by the same people, but it's uh. very close. The only thing I will say is like they keep trying to get you to pay for like upgrades and stuff like that that you that's completely earnable Mm -hmm. but they do try to get you to pay for upgrades and i've just like every time i go into the game it's like four taps saying no 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 (laughs) and then you're you're in to start playing but but it is a lot of fun um trying to look i'm still playing t3 arena that's probably the one game i play all the time i love that game it's great fantastic fantastic it's um, mech, mech arena mech arena okay so uh Karouse, you're playing uh so are you going to be playing this weekend as of this recording right well yeah the what i'm playing right at this very moment is i'm 95 it's kind of interesting because we're both playing superhero games i'm mm-hmm. playing batman arkham knight yes tremendous i'm at like 97 percent complete oh i need to go back and do the side quest man it's great it's such a good now wait have you played the other arkham games no i have not oh you dropped right in the night oh no oh no because there's a lot of there's a lot of threads in there from that yeah Um, well i've enjoyed it everything mm -hmm. i've played i've I've really enjoyed it I've, i've enjoyed it a lot now the game you're talking about is Call of Duty. I am a big Call of Duty Modern Warfare fan. Mm-hmm. I haven't played the last couple Call of Duties, although I have played some of the um what's the the Call of Duty multiplayer or mm-hmm. Battle Arena. What I, I don't know. Whatever the free I've played a little bit. It's of a Warzone, that. isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Warzone. Yeah. So, but I I pre-ordered this. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. 
since I pre-ordered, the beta starts tomorrow. But it will also be going, when this recording comes out, it'll be out the next weekend also. And that will be a free-to-play for anyone. So oh, nice. anybody can download it and play it. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the of the Modern Warfare series of games. There's been a couple of them. Mm-hmm. And um, so I'm just... Re- and from all the reviews so far have been pretty positive. There have been a couple little things people have complained about, but... Um, either they're already saying they're going to address some of them. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm really looking forward to playing this actually starting tomorrow, believe it or not. So maybe at lunch tomorrow, I'll be playing some call of duty. <laughs> I, I'm really curious. So I, I, when I bought my Xbox one, uh, there was a couple of discs for like a lot of black ops three and, mm-hmm. and, uh, and one of the other ones. Um, and I played a little bit of those. Um, but you know, I, I haven't really been like, I remember ghosts. That's when I dropped off <laughs> initially. Okay. So, and I and I wouldn't even have an Xbox One game if they didn't come with the the used one that I, I happened to pick up. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's I'm I'm curious to see. I mean, it's still that yearly blockbuster like that some people play every year, like Madden, basically. Um, so I'm really interested to see uh, your take on it. You say you you so you're a couple years lapsed. So this is like. This is like when you go from like your iPhone 10 to a to a 14, and you see the giant I jump, know. right? Well, you, you know, know what, <laughs> or is it going to already well, announced? Yeah, you know, because Microsoft is well, they're attempting to buy them. Mm-hmm. It, we'll see if Sony allows it to happen or not. But um, they have already announced that they are not releasing a game next year. They're taking a year. Whoa! Off. When's the last time they had a hiatus here for Call of Duty? I uh, don't. Not in a very very long time. Well, I'll tell you what. They, WWE did that for the 2K yeah. series um cuz it was abhorrently bad okay like around like 2021 or whatever like, I think it was 2020 was probably the last one and man that that uh, 2K22 was a really fun game for for wrestling they really retooled it they really kind of started from scratch and and it's a way way better game so i'm looking forward to see what happens here with this um so i'm curious your impressions after your beta um and and see where it goes from there so man it's like putting leaving money on the table at that point because you know people are going to buy it regardless right you know covid it's probably covid that screwed them up probably well i don't even know if it was covid i i think the company just realizes the grind i think just starts wearing people down yeah and that's well also well, 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 well what is happening with activision too um do they have a big talent drop because of all the problems that were having around there between the people that were accused of things and the people that reacted to being things happening to them, you know, how many people are still around, you know, on top of COVID on top of other things. Mm. So they may, they may be having a talent shortage to be honest. Like I I feel, so I heard a dog and I don't, I I think he's close. (laughs) I will say modern warfare is my favorite of all the different. Oh yeah. Call of duty series. The modern warfare and black ops of the ones that I was playing. Um, we're, we're definitely top, like Modern Warfare 3 was the one that brought me in, um, yeah. and into Black Ops and then Ghosts. Uh, <laughs> so I had a good three year run there, I guess, of Call of Duty. So, but anyways, but, uh, but no, I'll be trying Deathloop. So is there anything else you've been playing in recent months or anything like that? Um, I, Halo, always Halo. Halo. <laughs> I got to hop back into, I haven't jumped into the Halo. In fact, I went to go play Gears 5 and Halo a couple of days ago since I was knew I was wrapping up Guardians and I kind of like, oh, let's hop in, kind of see where we were with this. And uh, I had not even downloaded the campaigns for all of them yet. <laughs> so he was like, ah, oh, it's so tricky. You downloaded all this stuff. And then it's like, ah, oh, you don't have the campaign. What? Mm-hmm. You know, um, but man, Gears, Gears 5 is like butter. I played some online yeah. a little bit. And it's like butter compared to what it used to be on all those years. It's just like yeah, it's, Gears Five was a tremendous game. Yeah, really good. I thought I was further in it. I think I confused where I was stuck on four with where I was on five. <laughs> right? Um, because I'm like I thought I was further. Where's the thing that 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 sucks me into its stomach? Um, but I think that was four where that happened. So, yeah, I think you're um, right. but, uh, but anyways, um, no, it's, I forgot about the robots. I forgot about, you know, it's, it's been, it's probably been a good six months or so, maybe even a year since I played year five. Cause I, it's like, with the assassin, I had those stints where I just truck through all the assassin creed games from like finish three straight through to, uh, starting, um, um, origins. 
right? And Speaking th- of Assassin's Creed, did you see the, the the trailer that came out? Is there another new one? They're come, going back to their roots. They're another game that took a year off. Mm-hmm. And they're going back. If you look at the game, ta- it, it, it looks like it's going back to where... We're talking about Mirage? Called, yep, Assassin's Creed yes. Mirage. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've seen some of this. This, yes. Like, we're back to... Listen, the last, like, two games, I don't think even had the freaking arm knife thing. <laughs> So uh, man, yeah, they took his. They're taking the finger off again. Too. That's right. What? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That that's uh, that that's tremendous. I ah uh, yes, yes. That's why you know I, I've been enjoying Origin and, and Odyssey. Um, Odyssey is uh, every time I step into Odyssey, it's just like oh, this is too much game for me right now, right? Um, but, it is a lot of. But game. it's even dropping in the Origin. There was a there was a Game Pass like um, there was a Game Pass goal to drop back into like like uh origins and i'm like this is like and i just like hopped into a tomb and looked for something i'm like this is such a gorgeous game especially on the series s right um on the on the on the upgraded series stuff and uh this is still uh load time still is ridiculous (laughs) i'm there for the first load at least um but uh but man like the last one where i just had a lot like still to me the last true assassin's creed game was syndicate it oh, was, I, yeah, it was yeah, the, a great game. It was yeah. the most modern one, and and you know the characters were so great. I love that l- grimy London feel, you know, industrial mm-hmm. age. Uh, it isn't like don't don't you have things with like Charles Dickens or something in there, like some side missions? I think another thing I need to go back and just hit all of Charles Dickens like side missions or stuff. I actually loaded it up recently because um, I don't know. Did you notice uh, they changed all the all the uh, graphics? For the Assassin's Creed games, yes, they did. Yeah, yeah I, well, they I, all came to Game Pass too. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. Yeah, they Damn all it, are. I I have believe they all are of them. All, all <laughs> so, Game Pass. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't know they did that run of that. So that must be along with that. I, I presumed it was this whole. Um, what is the not Unity, but um, they they have a new um, real engine. No, 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 no. Uh, it, it they announced like a a cross Assassin's Creed kind of service or something. I, they, I think we were talking about, it sounds like it was like Halo Waypoint or something where it kind of was like it was interconnected t- tissue and they gave like a weird like new ways for everybody to play Assassin's Creed together and individually or some bullshit uh, PR line like that, right? <laughs> That's when they released it, you know, with the upgrade. So I, I don't know. It, it's, um, I, I, I'm glad to see it's reinvigorated. Um, and uh, I just I just love those games. I, I just love those games so much. My brother's been playing through like like two or three or something like that. He's been uh, rolling back through those on his uh, Twitch channel. Uh, One look- of my favorites was Bo- Brotherhood. I loved having the assassins yes! that you could send out. Oh my god! I know that was, that was so like a a grindy loop, but yeah. I just loved it. I went. I, just- I got the Ezio collection on mm-hmm. Xbox One. And uh, so there's a little bit enhanced because I never played the the not numbered sequels up until then. Yeah. Um, and even God Liberation, the one from the PSP, where uh, the one yeah one for the PSP where, where they were it was they were like in, I think colonized uh, America and stuff, and they kept going to South America. Like that one was a lot of fun too. It, it's, it, it's obviously it's not it doesn't have as much to do as all the other ones, um, but man, it was. It was it was enjoyable, a little shorter, but you know. But the, I love the world that they had around there. Just the world building in Assassin's Creed has been so great, you know. Even though they've kind of stepped away from the modern era um, interactions right now, so. But anyways, uh, anything else, uh, Chilla? Anything else? Have you of- have you been playing or have you tried out uh, Fall Guys at all? Yeah. Oh, I had a session with Chachi. That's been, uh, <laughs> and he's, I don't think he had ever played it before. And, uh, I think he was like the top three and I won one and stuff, but I, I love when you're playing with somebody and you can just like, it's okay if you die. Cause you just watch your, mm-hmm. whoever you're, you're rolling along with. Right. Yep. So. I, I have a lot of fun with it. I, uh, it's just one of those games that you can pick up play for a little bit put back down but i don't yeah, know yeah yeah I, I haven't gotten into like all the different costumes and all that kind of stuff but no. I, I really like the little the little mini games yeah it's fun it reminds me of um uh mm-hmm. most most extreme elimination challenge 
um, <laughs> from back from Spike TV, right? And that's what it is. I, I think it's basically the video game version of those like Japanese crazy physical challenge game shows. Not as not not the American uh, Ninja Warrior ones or Ninja Warrior ones, mm-hmm. but like the you know the you know anybody can do this you know kind of thing and get whacked by a wall or a ball or something like that. Like it's great. It's a uh, it's a uh, less scary Squid Games. It really it is. It really is. Um, but no, that's that's a lot of fun. And it's on Xbox, it's free, it's on PC, it's free, P, uh, it's on Switch for PlayStation free. It's on, Switch. It's pretty yeah. much on everything, I think. Yeah. It, Which is like, why did I buy it on PC? I, <laughs> <laughs> Rocket League I bought it and then they went free. So I don't know. Um but no, no, but that, that's great because then you're like, hey, this game I've been enjoying, now everybody can, right? Like don't like I got my ten bucks out of Rocket League. <laughs> you know? So and bought some stuff, um, my Ghostbusters car and my Knight Rider car. So, um, but yeah, uh, anything else? Anything coming up? Like, what, what are you guys kind of looking forward to here? There, there's a you know we've been talking about on the show. There's been a lot of announcements going on. You know, with Assassin's Creed, obviously, a lot of things for PlayStation, Nintendo. We talked about just recently on the I think the last episode. Um, Starfield. Or, Star- I'm looking forward to that. What is Starfield? Uh, that's Bethesda uh, soft uh, game studio. Uh, they're basically building. Um, oh god, what's it? Uh, what was the other series the guy did? Mm-hmm. It says it's um um here new game first I be developed by Bethesda tw- for twenty five years hyped as a real but could easily oh. Easily backlash at Starfield. It promises to be an immersive story spanning entire universe and the ability to explore countless planets over a hundred star systems, as well as fully customizable main character and their ship. So, so it's a yeah. it's a space exploration simulator. Um, it's like a a single player space game i guess okay yeah. all right i dig that i, I like the yeah. concept okay all right so that one up and we well, you know it's uh bethesda and guess who owns bethesda microsoft so guess what that means listen man i don't mind being Day on the one free game on uh, game I don't, mi- I don't mind being on the winning team right now okay yeah, in video right. games <laughs> I we're like, oh, oh, Activision can't wait for it on Game Pass. You know, yeah. I mean, and that's re- and that's it. You know, and I think that's pretty universal. There, I forget what I was listening to um, that talked about like the uh, the uh, you know they, they were talking about like a bunch of different things. They're like, and of course, Game Pass. Everybody agrees with Game Pass is the best thing in gaming right now, and it really is. I mean, I just love the random ass stuff that's in there. You know, yeah. I wish I had more time. I, w- I really do, I, you know, I, you know, to, to, to just dig into all that stuff. Um, but but it's also good to just like, you know, I mean, I just like the sample weird games, you know, right. and man, they got weird in there. Um, I'm sure Chill is looking forward to Overwatch, too. He was an Overwatch guy. That's exactly what I was going to bring up. Yeah, October <laughs> 4th, Overwatch 2 launches. It's free. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're going to like a premium battle pass model. So okay, oh, nice, good. I never played Overwatch, so I'll probably hop into this one. When when did you say that it's opening? October fourth. October fourth. So very very soon. Twenty two global maps, six distinct modes. Oh, that's smart. They're doing it before Call of Duty. <laughs> That's like Look two weeks. That. I think it's oh, like two weeks gameplay. before Call of Duty launches. And That's I, smart. Like the the one thing that I like about theirs is, and and I know, um, Fortnite does it. You know, Call of Duty did it. The the seasons, um, they have the season theory, but their seasons actually coincide with real life season. So like they always have like a Christmas season. They mm-hmm. have the Chinese New Year season. They have Feels very uh, summer and winter Olympics. Feels they, very uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, like they have all kinds of different seasons that coincide, and then there are special skins that you can earn. Now, Chilla, have they said anything about the stuff you earned in the first game? Will it cross over? I don't know. I would. It guess... would essentially probably be the same account, right? Yeah, but you couldn't. You, the stuff that you got in Overwatch. You couldn't take 
you couldn't port between systems, mm-hmm. uh, which I thought was kind of junky. But um, I will say, when I played the beta, all my stuff came with me, like all all the stuff that I've got. That's nice. Okay, That's nice. Excellent. So awesome. So we got some good game plan coming up here, and um, but uh, but man. I'm loving this. It's a, it's a good time of gaming. I'm loving how portable it is. I, I threw a couple of things on my MacBook that, you know, I'm actually, I was actually surprised because I opened my Steam account and I got a couple of things on here that I could actually still run on an M1 Mac. And I just, I just imagine it's just one of those things where I just needed time for it to, um, to kind of update. But, but there, there's actually a couple of things in here. Look, I think Psychonauts was, uh, I got it loading up so I can kind of see what my library looks like. Um, since I happen to be processing another show over here. Um, but, uh, it, it, it's, it's, you know, it's not everything, you know, it's not, it's not a lot, a lot to be excited about, you know, but it is like Brawl Hall, Hall is on there, Gang Beast. Um, what were some surprises? I mean, <laughs> stuff like Psychonauts and Psychonauts and Brutal Legend. <laughs> <laughs> Those is like 360 games, three Xbox games, things like that. Um, Tomb Raider is on here, uh, like the 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 newer t- Tomb Raider. Oh, my o- my Overlord games are on here now. You remember Overlord? Yeah, the, with the where game. you're like have your minions and everything like yeah. that. Like like those came over. Like that's that's one of the thing nice. That's the one thing that is nice about like the Steam collection. Um, Arkham City is on here. Well, there you, go. you know, um, it, like that, that's, that's pretty cool. Like I need, I still need to load up my rocket league cause it said it, it used it, uh, it said it worked before. Um, and then I'd load it up and it, and it wouldn't let me do anything. Like when, like this was still on the Intel Mac when they upgraded to 64 bit, like it was like, Oh, it opens and that's it. You have a title screen that says you can't play the game. <laughs> it's like, then what are we doing here guys? Um, but, uh, no, I'm actually loading it now to see what happens. I don't know what's going on, but anyways, well, thank you guys for, for, uh, uh, hopping in here on a not Tuesday night and, uh, and, and, uh, uh, sitting down with me with this. We'll have to think about what we're going to do for the other pre-record we're going to have to do for this show in the near future. Thank you everybody. Uh, again, this dropped, uh, you know, the same time as, because we, 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 you know, creatures of habit. I want to make sure you have your awesome cast. Even if we have to be somewhere else, so it's usually me. It's me. We work about everybody else. It's just when I can't do the show, what are we gonna do, right? Uh, thank you, Crazy Kraus on the Twitter. Thanks. Have a, thanks for having me. I always like talking about video games. So anytime. I knew you were an easy one. Oh no, it's not actually loading the Rocket League. I need to look through these. I don't think. I think this might be lying to me. And also, John Chichilla at Chilla on the Twitters. John Chichilla on the Facebooks. Where is it playing? <laughs> I'll give you a Rocket League update later. I don't know. I got a white screen. It's 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 done something. I'm at Sorgatron. If you want to follow everything that's going on here, um, uh, or with me on my trips, on my travels, on my on 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 what's going on with me. Oh no, Mac and Linux are no longer supported platforms. It loads it up to tell me that. Are you serious? Come on. Um, well, that's what we got the cloud for, right? What if I hit play? Hit exhibition. Wait a minute. Oh, it I just, was going to say, oh, I guess it'll be your Wi-Fi that'll be the, the I'm wondering killer if it's, I streaming. think it's, it must be, I, I mu- it must allow me to play single player. <laughs> Why would you even do that? <laughs> That's not, no. no. <clears throat> Probably host, so the people that pay yeah, $10 yep, for yep, it. Yep, yeah, because totally I want to pay $10 for it. Host local lobby, ho- join a local lobby. Yeah, you, you just, you're not connected to the online online. Uh, deal local so so if we want a land party on our max we can do that guys nice we can party like it's 1998 uh thank you everybody we'll see you guys next time you have been our awesome audience have an awesome week This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron.